So guys, this is the last Alien short film. Welcome back guys, it's Raw Geek here. Yes, there's been five of these, they've been brilliant. This is the last one, it's called Alien Alone. And I think there's a special guest here, I think Bill Paxton's son is in this. The late great Bill, who was Private Hudson in Aliens, which is one of the best movies of all time. And while we're here, just really quickly, don't forget to enter the giveaway I've got for Alien 40th Anniversary. It's loads of goodies. It's not able to be drawn yet because I'm still waiting for some comics to arrive because Aliens Rescue uh, won't finish yet for a little while. In fact, Aliens Resistance doesn't finish until May, so I'm giving all those comics in it as well. But do take a look and I'm sure there's something in there you'd like, so give it a go. And without further ado, let's get into Alien Alone. So yes guys, this is Alien 40th Anniversary short film Alone. Ooh, oh, 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 it's all going wrong. Is it going to buffer? Alright, it's working. Oh, there you go. The classic IGN buffering. Terrible. Here we go. <laughs> Alien alone. Oh, the music's great. Hey, one of the little donkey things. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. Oh, there's the crew. It's wearing a bandana. Post evacuation report of the commercial frigate Otranto. Day 458. I have been counting the rivets in the B deck corridor. There are 28,582 rivets. That's a fun job. That's a riveting That's job. That's two more than in the technical specs. I will have to tell someone when I get home. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she is synthetic then. Mother continues to deny my access to Lab B11A, the only room in the ship that I can't enter. I don't know why. I, I don't know why, but I'll definitely let you know. I should have some special rights. <laughs> Open door, please. <laughs> Science officers. I am continuing with what repairs that I can, but the ship is falling apart. The captain promised me that someone would come for me. He promised hmm. that I would not be forgotten. She actually there alone. But I continue to stay alone on this ship. No. That's a bit horrible. I am filling my days with mundane tasks over and over again, but I find some pleasure in the repetition of it. That must be horrible. Emergency. Emergency. It's good that it's used exactly the same thing. How? Oh my god, there's actual fire. That extinguisher sound is like a pulse rifle. What's going on? Who's Subject C? Someone's in stasis. Oh, who's in there? Is 
Is there a reason they're still in stasis? Gotta be cold, surely. <gasps> no, <laughs> no, no! Don't open that up. <laughs> Close, put the lid back on. Oh my god! Yeah, she, I thought she was synthetic. That makes sense. Post evacuation report of the commercial frigate Atranto, day four hundred fifty-eight. It took three days for the creature to reappear. Given the lab notes, limited as they are, I assumed it had died. The creature is an invasive species early in its life cycle. To any other members of the crew, she would be dangerous. However, I am not like the crew, and so I am not a viable host. While it has no obvious means of taking in sustenance, it conserves energy extremely well mm. and seems impervious to the chemicals slowly flooding the ship. With Mother offline, I've come to regard it as a companion of sorts. What? It's a pet! It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I know it is only drawn to my presence, hoping I'll be something it can infect. But I can't imagine enduring this isolation without it. <laughs> nice pet! Functioning. Do you see this? You don't know what this is. My internal systems are breaking down. They don't manufacture my parts anymore, so... Even if I do get off of here, eventually I... I am worried about my companion. The stage of her life cycle isn't supposed to last this long. She's slowing, dying, and when she's gone, I'll follow soon after. Hmm. I won't allow that to happen. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. No, she's not getting people to get come there, is she? Slow engine burn should bring us close enough to the frontier lines in order to be picked up. Even with my engine repairs, I do not think the ship is going to make it. Staying out here means certain death for my companion and I. Good. <laughs> Neither of us deserve to die out here like this. Maybe not, but still, so you should. We're going to take our fate into our own hands. This is the last report of the ship of Toronto. Can't help but feel a little bit sorry for her, but... Sound is so good. I like that. I know it's models, but I like that. The Nostromo was a model in 1979, so. Don't go aboard! I think that is Mr. Paxton. Sounds like him a little bit. Oh, bless him. Oh my gosh, how high? <gasps> no! <laughs> Did 
Damn it, man, come on. <sighs> oh, gosh, okay. Oh, oh, dear. Oh god. I think this door's a little jammed. <clears throat> Tell you the truth, I don't know what the fuck happened. I just I woke up in here and I'm not feeling my best. You work here? You talk? Mm, yes. Well, can you help me get this door open? No, I'm not going to do that for you. <sighs> Why not? I can't let you out. You let me out right now. Hey, you hearing me? Hey. Oh dear. I'm dying. Well, Good. <laughs> at least what dying counts as for someone like me. And it's not fair, but I've accepted it and you should too. It's best not to get your hopes up. <coughs> Did you do something? This is dark, man. Did you do something to me? Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh dear. Yeah, your companion's dead. I don't think your new companion is gonna not kill you. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? What is wrong with these synthetics? Damn it. Like, that one wasn't even programmed to do it, I don't think. They weren't, you know, it was just that they were gone mental from cabin fever. A bit like David, he went a bit crazy, didn't he, being by himself? That was just weird. Surely that xenomorph's just going to rip a head off. It's not going to be like, oh, I remember you, we can be friends. So I'd say that one was probably the creepiest, the strangest, the most sort of dark and depressing it was very odd but very good just having that you know narrated by the synthetic the whole time and watching what they're doing it's just it's just creepy and it's just that whole universe thing being indifferent and you know up in space it's just a horrible cold world i think my favorite maybe joint favorite is specimen and harvest and then I don't think I can pick a favourite out of the rest of the four. They're just all good, you know, the same kind of level. These are all great. I thought this was brilliant that they did this. And with every single one, I've kind of want to see more what happens. So that's the mark of a successful film. What do you think about this one? Let me know down below. And let me know what your favourite one of these six was. If you have a favourite. And like I said at the start, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Once again, guys, happy Alien Day. In a month's time, it'll be the 40th anniversary of when Alien first came out. This whole year is the 40th anniversary, if that makes sense. But specifically, May the 25th was when it was first released. And that will about do it for this one, guys. So guys, if you like that, please click like. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next video. And until then, remember, in space, no one can hear you scream. Okay, bye. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome. Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.